you're going to have to forgive the very quick nature of this video. It's because it's responding to a headline in today's newspapers and that is the fact that paracetamol has been shown to be completely ineffective for arthritis. Now this is on the back of it just been shown to be completely ineffective for back pain as well. But there are two problems with this broad headline. Um, the first one is that it does actually work for some people. So what does that mean? Should they continue taking it? The second thing is, so what should people with arthritis do if they're in a lot of pain and they've been taking this in the hope that it's going to be doing something? Well, there's two answers. There's really just one answer and that is try and find the actual cause of the arthritis. I've been in clinic for 20 years working with people in pain with arthritis and very often the actual cause of the pain is not the arthritic joint, it's something else around the joint or it's the way that your body is working. It may not be nourished enough in some way so that you can't make your own actual natural anti-inflammatories and when those problems are fixed the pain of the arthritis goes away. We do know from x-rays that many, many millions of people have terrible arthritis on x-ray but no pain. We also know that there's plenty of people with terrible arthritic seeming pain but on x-ray they look fine. So the first real answer is to try and find the actual cause of your problem and that's one of the things we can do at Body Imbalance in Hertfordshire and there are lots of other clinics like ours around the country. However, what if you are in the position where you find that paracetamol works or you'd like to actually take something for the pain or you feel you need to? Well, paracetamol, even if it's working for you, is actually very harmful for the liver and this can then cause other problems later. So the answer is to actually, there is something that you may be able to take before you take the paracetamol that may actually stop the damage to the liver. Now, this goes back to a study on rats. Unfortunately, it hasn't been studied properly in humans yet. But there is a Chinese medicinal mushroom. It sounds a bit crazy, but it's been used for thousands of years very, very, very safely in humans, not just rats. Um, but a group of researchers, because they realized that this Chinese medicinal um, mushroom has been used for lots and lots of different uses, one of them for pain, and also for detoxification and helping keep your body clean. And they found that when they gave this mushroom to rats before they gave them paracetamol, they found out that it actually stopped all of the liver damage that paracetamol would usually cause. And because we've been using this in humans for a long time, it's probably going to be doing the same thing for humans as well. We know it's safe, we know it's effective, and we know it has health benefits. So that's one thing to do. The second thing is if you are worried about paracetamol or if you found it hasn't been working, there are a few things that show promise and that I've used in the clinic that seem to work. And again, not for everybody. The real trick is to find out the real cause of your problem. So what are these? Well, we actually turn to China again, first of all, another mushroom called the Cordyceps mushroom. And this is actually currently being investigated by, I think, Arthritis UK, or at least funded by Arthritis UK, as a possible um, well, treatment for arthritic pain. Yeah, we use it in our clinic um, with a red tea mixed with the other uh, Chinese mushroom called Ganoderma lucidum and we actually have these infused in a tea because it's best had with a hot drink. You can buy the pills separately as well. So that's the first thing. Second thing is a, a spice called turmeric. In particular an extract of that spice called curcumin. You can buy this in all sorts of shops. You may even have turmeric um, at home in your spice shelf anyway. Uh, that has been shown to actually work as well as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, things like ibuprofen and neurofen. Another thing is lots of omega-3 fats, uh, fish oils, but nice clean ones. Not things like cod liver oil, which can be full of pollution and toxins, but fish oils that are made from herring, sardines, anchovies, cleaner fish, and also filtered to make sure that it is actually high quality. 
And then finally we come to another supplement, but it's a mixture of lots of different things. It's made uh, in America by a company called Metagenics. Over in the UK here, it's um, brought over by a company called Nutri Advance, and it's called Ultra Inflam X. And it's a powdered supplement. It's got curcumin, turmeric, it's got all sorts of things in it. And we find for our patients who've got a lot of pain, especially when it's related to gut problems as well, and that then when they use this, it can help dramatically. Now that's the end of the supplements. The other thing that we use in the clinic is we play what's called alpha music. And this is a type of music that stimulates a part of your brain that basically calms you down. And very famously, just a few months ago in the clinic, we had a lady come in to see me who regularly comes in just to keep herself going. She's in her 80s. And she said, oh, you can work on the rest of my body today, Chris, but please leave my foot alone because the arthritis is really playing up very badly. So we worked on the rest of her body and then she went and sat in the waiting room waiting for her friend who was also looking after. And she said how she found this alpha music so relaxing, she actually fell asleep. And when she woke up again 15 minutes later, her foot pain was gone. Now, I cannot guarantee that if you come to our clinic and fall asleep in our waiting room, you're going to wake up in no pain but it's one of the many things that we use to help people feel better and hopefully get better long term as well. You can find out more uh, about all these things that we use at our website bodyimbalanceuk.com and then go to the products page and click on arthritis supplements. Um, but it's even better if you just give us a call or find a clinic near you that actually works holistically to try and find the cause of your arthritis. I hope you guys all found that very useful. Please leave a comment below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're seeing this on Facebook, please leave a comment. Let me know if you thought this was useful. Be well.